first time I ate avocado was so amazing that I came. And that was the first time I came, so the only thing I could compare it to was the taste of avocado. Almost the same. The first time I got stoned, I ran into my friend's bedroom and I hung onto each corner of the mattress because I knew that I would be flung into space if I didn't hold tight. Two years before that, I went to my first concert and I was high all night. And the first time someone clapped for me on stage, I floated three inches off the pavement walking home. Only one girl has ever really wrapped my stomach into pretzels. She didn't give me butterflies. She gave me pterodactyls. I'm talking terrible internal bruising. And the first time I kissed her was like the first time I saw fireworks, which was like the sky first kissing me in the eyeballs. In high school, the self-defense counselor taught us that we could defend ourselves against a rapist by sticking a thumb into the corner of his eye socket and popping it out like a grape. Babe, for the chance to be with you, I would pop my own eyeballs out and say, here, I only have eyes for you. And you'd carry them in your pocket so no matter where you went, every time you pulled out a handful of loose change, I'd get to wink at you. And a thousand miles away, you'd think of how charming I am. Me, weaving blindly through LA traffic. You, in some bullshit other place. But you shouldn't leave first times until the end of summer. Because you went off to college, years passed, I realized I was the only one calling anymore, and that first kiss hardened into the last. My love. Retarded. Preserved. A pterodactyl in a tar pit. The music over before it started. A lost guitar pick. I stopped trying to match it. Searching for some magical attachment. Because marriages are not Disney. No, bad marriages are sandcastles. And good marriages are McDonald's hamburgers. You could leave a good marriage on a plate in the sun for 50 years and it stays pretty much the same. The key I've heard is to fight routine to make the smallest moments gleam and mean something. And if you feel yourself fading, face paint your old and aging jaded creased up cheeks gold plated with a jar of first time. And if you need a youthful spruce up, just grab a tube of that noob juice and lube up. And if you're hurting, rub the good stuff where you're burning. But a word of warning, first time tends to make the bad times worse. And there's the rub. It doesn't make things better, just louder, amplifies a murmur. Er, er. Great is greater, greater is greater, er, and broke is broker. And bone is boner. It's not a perfect formula, but the first time I kissed you, the door of your crappy Civic already half open, you said, I'm glad you did that. And I have a feeling that for you it wasn't a first time, it was a this one time. But I will remember that moment for the rest of my life, even if I have to arm wrestle all timers for it. And if I ever get a chance to kiss you again, you know, a second time, I'll stick my tongue out and I'll lick you right across your cheek because I've already kissed you, but I've never licked you. And you'll say, oh, why did you do that? And I'll say, hey, sexy, did someone just slap you across the face with a banana slug? Or is that a big shiny trail of first time on your cheek? Maybe we can go back to my place and get some first time on the sheets. It's worth it. After all, there's nothing like the first time. The first time's always perfect. Hey, I'm not trying to mess with you. I just been obsessed with you. You ain't even really gotta be my girlfriend. I just wanna kiss on you and talk to you. I'm not trying to mess with you I just been obsessed with you You ain't even really gotta be my girlfriend I just wanna kiss on you Cause maybe now's fun There's someone that is so damn cool